Hey there, Virgo, and welcome back from the weekend. Well, it looks like a sunny and social day for the Virgos and the overthinkers of the Zodiac. It starts with the moon in Cancer. Transiting your house of friends and society, that puts your emotional consciousness out there in the world. It does make it maybe a little bit more sensitive or vulnerable to public opinion right now, so be careful of that in the next day or so. But also at the same time, put your heart out there. You're a great socialite during this period. It's easy to talk to you. And really your heart can be in any kind of public work you do, whether it's public service, public speaking, whatever you do in the world, your heart is there for another 24 hours, even being social. Now the sun today is ruled by Mercury and its placement is in your house of boundaries, trust issues, and intimacy. That means today you might find yourself being pensive about that topic. With Mercury ruling the day, you might find yourself talking or thinking about where your boundaries are, where your intimacy issues, what your intimacy issues are, and literally where you have trust issues. Do you trust yourself? Do you trust the world? This is the topic of this whole month for Virgo, really getting down and clearing out that space so you can connect easily to another person with all that, without all that brilliant thinking getting in the way, which it can do. Now, lastly, I do want to underline a Mars-Neptune conjunction. We're a dead conjunct today. I've been talking about it for the last few days on Soul Horoscopes. This is happening actually in your house of body, health, and daily work. Now, that puts you in a more precarious position than the other astrology uh, signs. That's because right now with Mars conjuncting Neptune, you could act subconsciously based on some fear or motive deep in your subconscious around the area of body and health. So this is a time where you might find yourself in an injury if you're not paying attention to what your body is really saying to you or what the signs of your day are really saying to you. And what could trigger you is Saturn, directly opposing that. Now Saturn is in the house of higher faith or karma or issues. You've been really digging deep to have faith in yourself. So if it's an issue of faith or you're not believing yourself, that could be why you get into an accident or risk yourself in that kind of situation. So be careful for the next few days. All right, Virgo? All right, that's all I have for Monday. See you tomorrow with more Soul Horoscopes. Live, love, be. Soul Garden.